Hello and welcome to Making Joyful Noise, brought to you by beautiful St. Paul Lutheran Church in downtown Sarasota, Florida. My name is John Ferreira. I am the Director of Music Ministries and the organist at the church. This coming Sunday, May 28th, is Pentecost Sunday, the birth of the church. It's a very special Sunday and normally we have choir and bells. We are going to have that, but the bells are going to be in a little different shape. Our regular brass bells have been packed up and are currently being shipped to Pennsylvania, where they will be taken care of, literally refurbished from head to toe, inside and out, and returned to us in just a couple of months. So at least for two more months, maybe three months, we won't have the actual brat spells here. However, we always have our beautiful chimes. These were donated to the church by one person. They're absolutely gorgeous to listen to, a lot of fun to play. They're a little bit different. As you can see, I'm handling these without gloves. When the bells come back, we are going to make a rule, not even a recommendation or a guideline. It's going to be a rule. You don't touch the bells or the bell case without wearing gloves. But why, John? Why? It's because our natural fingers have natural oils on them. And those oils getting on the brass will eventually pit the bells. And if they pit the bells, it very often changes the tune or the tone of the bell. I know it sounds kind of funny, but it happens. We have um, some bells that are pretty much changed pitch by just a little bit, just enough to make you go, what was that sound? But anyway, now we've got the chimes to use, and we're going to be using them all summer. Now, the chimes are just metal bars, as, as you can see, with a little hammer. I'm going to show this one better. And it has an open fork on it. And it makes a beautiful sound. Listen. I can play softly. I can play loudly. You probably didn't hear the difference, but it's a very, very quiet difference. And you dampen these the same way you would dampen the bells. But here, you would dampen them across your chest. Most bell um, directors like them to go right across your chest so that the open fork gets stopped. That's where the sound comes from, is that little open fork, like a tuning fork. So now, let's, let me show you with a little trick about the bells. We can play them loud, we can play them soft. I can make a vibrato with the bell. Listen to this. You can't do that with the bells. You can do it with the chimes. Listen down here. And to do that, my finger actually has to go right about where the little hole ends. Makes a pretty sound. So I'm going to take advantage of that this summer. And when we play, we're going to be playing bells with groups of four ringers at a time. Be sure to come and join us. St. Paul Lutheran Church, downtown Sarasota, Florida. Uh, we're on YouTube, live, I'm sorry, Facebook Live, 9.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. Or better still, come on down and join us to worship together. Happy Pentecost!